Hey guys, today we are here at the um, inspection place. The question is, are we gonna pass the state inspection with the pending trouble codes? As you can see, it says smog readiness check warning, pending trouble codes. Let me see if I can show you better. Even the um, all the readiness are ready to go and let's get figure it out and let's see if we'll pass the inspection all right guys i'm gonna give you a little bit of background about this car so this one is a 2010 Acura RDX. Um, I did some work on this one. We replaced some um, the turbo and the turbo been throwing some codes in it and then it hasn't been registered or um, inspected for this particular car and now we fixed it and before we got it back to the road we need to register again um, of course the yearly um, not re register we need to uh, renew the um the the plate the registration so before you order um to do that you have to have a state inspection which is this is north carolina north carolina state inspection and of course um you gotta have um updated um license not license i mean insurance for the car so those are two things before you um update your registration for your car and to get it um pass inspection you gotta have um the readiness code so let's see let's go ahead um start the car let me start the car and this is how i'm gonna check when it's ready for inspection normally you gotta have um you gotta drive it a couple times for at least 100 100 miles to get a readiness code ready so i'll be use, i've been using this blue driver app i have a little dangle underneath the obd and they have this smog check here and this stuff here will prevent you to pass the inspection um that's why it's called the uh, smog readiness check um it shouldn't have any check engine light let me let's let's go ahead scan it make sure the car is running scan okay so this one is ready for inspection as you can see it said no check engine light it's off and confirmed no trouble codes and then no right now there's no pending trouble codes so this really ready to go all green no misfire no fuel problem that and what we're looking for is the catalyst evaporative system oxygen sensor and then the heater sensor and that one However, as you can say, as you can see, I'm gonna show you that this one will have a pending code. Um, so the pending code is it will be on and off. It comes, it is go pending first before it become a confirmed codes. If you have a confirmed trouble trouble codes, you will have a check engine light here. We don't have a check engine light, so the but the pending trouble codes will you still not gonna have a check engine light on your dash but um this might prevent you to pass the inspection not all the time it depends what it is as long this catalyst the evap this evap system and the oxygen sensor are ready that's what they're looking for you can get it inspected so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead go to the um some um, places to go to inspection all right let's get to it all right they're taking the car inside now um the rules is they're gonna they have to pull in the car by themselves not us not the driver or owner so this one technically has been out of um it's been due for a couple for two years at least and we'll see if it's um, a past inspection. And we need that 
the inspection here we're in North Carolina so the NC State inspection will need it to be inspected and pass before you get a renew your registration so let's see check it out if they're gonna pass it for us all right right now they doing the visual inspection right now and then they're gonna do is the um, scanner to connect look up your OBD and pass or not okay so with this um, I use the um, the blue driver OBD scanner and if you go to smart check that's when you know if your car is ready for inspection let me see let's go scan Yesterday, I could just say everything is green, that means it's ready for inspection. But this one, it has one pending trouble codes. So, everything is ready. EVAP catalyst, oxygen sensor. So, I, I believe this is the most important one for inspection. These four right here. Catalyst, EVAP, oxygen sensor, readiness. And but the, the pending trouble codes are on. Um, and there's no engine light on it. I'll show you in a little bit, but we'll see if they will pass this right now. All right, guys, I think we just passed it. Let me see, I'm waiting for the confirmation. I see green light over there. Look at that, it says pass. No call on that on a left system. Pass. So, so that's it's good. We'll wait till he's come to us and say it's passed. I believe it passed the inspection. So we don't have nothing to worry about if you have a pending code. I believe it depends on pending code, but this one, I'll show you the pending code. It's only about the uh, the catalyst on the um, for the catalytic converter. It's like a P0420. But if it's not engine light, if it's not um, permanent codes you'll be fine but if the check engine light come out you probably would not pass the inspection um at least here in north carolina so i'm gonna show you the full details later they're gonna print out print us out via your paper um form that it says pass but from here as you can see pass ready card man please wait all right there you guys, they gave us back our registration. We not just paid it. All right, so good to go. So look at that. As you can see, the thing is fast. Just paid it. We're gonna drive it off, and then we're gonna hop in there. All right. So we just pass this. We go get out of here. Thanks, man. All right. So we are past the inspection, guys. So it depends on what kind of uh, pending codes you have, but most of the time, those pending codes are not that um, critical. As you can see, we do have here self. Check, check, pass. As you can see, this is the receipt that we have that it says it's past inspection. Where is it? This is the only paper we have. I'm supposed to have another one, but. All right. Okay, so to conclude, the car passed inspection. Even though there's a pending code, it did pass the inspection. So you can see here, all of these check are good. I got an emission sticker on here. It's only like 30 bucks. I think it's always 30 bucks. And let's go ahead. Um, to already drive it home right now. Let's go ahead check if our smart check um is still there. If it's still pending, I still don't have it, but it doesn't matter now because if we already passed the inspection. So you can get your inspection get it passed even with the trouble codes because uh with i mean uh, with the pending trouble codes because it, it 
it, that's not permanent. It's temporary. Let's go ahead and smog check again. There you go. The pending trouble closes disappear again. So this one is on and off. Uh, normally those are the auto sensor. I mean the catalytic problem. Normally it's the P0420 or the P0430. But this one is not really a problem. So all right guys. So I hope you like this um, this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next video. Peace.